So it's been a difficult year. Back in March, we were all set to showcase the Music Awards Evening 2020. The trophies had been bought and engraved, the speeches had been written, we even had Mr Zalik in school setting up the sound and lighting. And then the notice came that all public performances had to be cancelled. This came shortly before we found out that the school was going to be closing, exams were going to be cancelled, and the nation was going into lockdown. The initial idea was that we postpone the awards evening. We found a date at the end of April, after the initial lockdown, and then a date in June, and finally a date in September. But soon it became clear that it just wasn't going to be possible. Whilst the world is facing big issues, it doesn't take away from the, the fact that students are disappointed that they couldn't showcase their talents in this evening. The music department at Coombe Dean has showcased a high level of achievement, of exam results, of public performances for almost two decades now. But the thing that I'm most proud of as the head of music is the supportive mentoring environment that we've created for our older students right through to our younger students. So once it was decided that we had to cancel the awards evening permanently, I felt that it was really important that we still did acknowledge these students and all of their hard work over the past year. So I'm hoping that as many of you as possible are watching, students, teachers, parents, and can join with me in congratulating our fantastic students.
We start with the Year 9 Breakthrough Musician Award. This year, the award goes to a young lady who's excelled in class, been a star in the senior vocal group, and has helped out also with the junior choir. In addition to this, she's joined the soul band as a backing vocalist and has had a key role in the school musical on Whitechapel Road. The Year 9 Breakthrough Musician Award goes to Olivia. Next we have the Year 9 Most Committed Musician. This year it's a young lady who has been committed to the chamber group as well as the string group and has been a lead learner in class. The Year 9 Most Committed Musician is Ellen Aline. The final award for Year 9 is the Musician of the Year. And this year it's another young lady. She's been excellent in class She's joined the senior vocal group and been one of our key members of the string ensemble. Added to this, she played the part of the insane Dr Bedlam in our musical on Whitechapel Road. The Year 9 Musician of the Year is Isabel. <laughs> the Key Stage 4 Special Awards have five recipients this year. Firstly, a young lady who has excelled in class recently joined the senior vocal group and was actually the stage manager for the school musical on Whitechapel Road. She is England's greatest queen. The winner is Jess Crocker. Our next recipient is a young man who's actually left the school since last year, so I'm hoping that he's watching this and will come in and pick up his award. He was the bass guitarist in soul band, folk band and in the school musical band. The winner is The Giant. Drew Slade. Our third recipient has also moved on to Pastures New since last year, but whilst in year 11 she excelled in class, she was a key member of the senior vocal group and she played guitar in the school musical band. The winner is Kushla McGee. Our fourth winner of a special award for Key Stage 4 is another young lady. She's been committed to the senior vocal group and had a key role in the school musical. The winner is Olivia Williams. And finally, we have a young man who has been committed to soul band, to the senior band, jazz band, and has played keyboards in the school musical band. The winner is Luke Bevin. The Key Stage 4 Breakthrough Musician is a young lady who has worked as a vocalist in Soul Band and the Key Stage 4 Band this past year. She's been excellent in class, a real pleasure to teach, and she's also been a key member of the Senior Vocal Group. Her key moment may have been, though, a starring role in the school musical on Whitechapel Road, where she did have to act opposite my son. Sorry about that. The Key Stage 4 Breakthrough Musician is Grace Hensman. Next we come to the Key Stage 4 Most Committed Musician. This is a young lady who's excelled in class, especially in the area of musical theory. She's played the saxophone in the chamber group and in soul band, and also in the jazz band. She's capped this off with a steady performance in the school musical band. The Most Committed Musician for Key Stage 4 is Florrie Evans. Now we move on to one of the biggest awards of the evening, the Key Stage 4 Musician of the Year. It would probably be quicker to list the things that this young man hasn't been involved with this year, but I'll do my best to do him justice. He's been the drummer in jazz band, he's been in the Key Stage 4 band, in the chamber group on the trombone, he's played in soul band, drummed in folk band, and he's also been in the school musical band. Aside from this, He's been a fantastic member of the GCSE class. He's Jones, Ollie Jones. The final award of the evening is the Composition of the Year. In previous years, we would read out a list of nominations and listen to a short extract from each of these pieces before announcing the winner. Unfortunately, due to the school closure, we didn't have the chance to finalise some of these pieces. 
So I will read out a list of names by way of special mention before announcing the winner and we'll hear an extract from just the winner this year. I'd like to mention really high quality compositions from Olivia Williams, Kushla McGee, Sina Vahidi and Zach Croak. But the winner of the composition of the year for 2020 is Holding On by Mary Swan.